The opposition side of the political divide has continued to raise concerns over the deployment of the military to take part in a joint security operation in North Rift Valley. As Mayor Leader Raila Odinga questions the deployment without the express approval of Parliament as required by law. This begs the question, deal with the wait for the legal approvals or follow the law to the letter? And TV's Leila Mohammed explains. Before the ink had dried on a special issue of Gazette Notice Number 34 on the 13th of February 2023, stating that KDF troops would join forces with the officers from the National Police Service under the command of the Inspector General of Police, troops were already on their way into the Kerio Valley Belt, landing first in Eastern Bolingo, in Tiati constituency. The bandit criminals uh, to gain courage and start uh, injuring, uh, shooting, naming officers. The commander-in-chief while making that order had stated that the complexities of matters at hand and the coordinated attacks on police officers by bandits was the major reason to call in the military to support the police in the multi-agency combat against banditry. And, and a serious threat. We have seen the military being deployed in the north without the authority of parliament as prescribed in our constitution. In a statement earlier in the week, Interior Cabinet Secretary Kifure Kindiki stated that due to the nature of deployment, where the troops would operate under the command of the Inspector General, it wasn't necessary to go through the paces of a parliamentary approval to deploy KDF boots on the ground. Kindiki argued that when engaging in a multi-agency mission, the August House only needed notification and frequent reports on the status of the mission. Wale watu wajeuri wachache wako pale. Wanajaribu kutuonyesha kuri. Tutapimana na wao na tutahakikisha kwamba hakuna mkenya anapoteza maisha yake. In case an internal security matter gets out of hand, the commander-in-chief is guided by Article 33 of the KDF Act, which allows for such deployment of troops in situations of emergency or disaster. It's clear that nobody can deploy the military without the express authority of parliament. The Act also gives guidelines on how the operation will be conducted. It states that such a deployment shall comply with constitutional standards relating to human rights and fundamental freedoms, with the Cabinet Secretary expected within 24 hours to issue a notice in the Gazette of the commencement of such deployment. They have the numbers. They have the resources. It's an issue of continuous engagement and commitment. In the case of ending the operation, the CS shall again also within 24 hours issue notice in the Gazette of the discontinuation of the deployment. The CS is expected to report to the National Assembly on the deployment, which the chair of the National Assembly Committee on Defense and Foreign Relations earlier in the week acknowledged being received of that communication. <laughs> The Act specifically dictates that the deployment may only be performed in such an area or at a such a place that the National Security Council may determine. The KDF Act also states that such a deployment shall be performed in accordance with the Code of Conduct and Operational Procedures on the Regulation of KDF Support Operations Approved by the Defense Council. It would also be guided by a joint operation plan and guidelines issued by the Chief of Defense Forces of the KDF and the Inspector General of the National Police Service regarding cooperation between the forces and coordination of command over and control of KDF and NPS officers during the operation. People of this region have no option. They must learn to coexist. KDF officers will not have the power and duty to investigate civilian-based criminal acts, with the act guiding KDF officers who have arrested criminals or detained any person or seized any article or object, that as soon as possible, they shall hand that person, article or object over to the National Police Service or any other appropriate functionary designated by the relevant law. Leila Mohammed, NTV.